why I'm not looking forward to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Oh, by the way, this is a very nice gameplay with AK-47. It's not boosted, because it's Team Deathmatch. The kids who were playing on split screen also just sucked. So, uh, I don't know, what's his name? What is his name? Space Gold. Very nice match by him. Uh, yeah, so, anyways, why I'm not looking forward to Black Ops 2. Alright, I just found this out recently, and this came to my mind recently, that why should you look forward to a game that's going to be broken? And they may be like, well, there's a chance, there's a chance that it might be good, and there might not be anything broken with it. That's really all wrong. If they were to make a game with nothing wrong with it, and I was actually balanced, then why would make someone buy the next Call of Duty game? Seriously, what if Black Ops had no ghost, no second chance? What would make you buy the next Call of Duty game and actually play it? What would you make you pick up MW3? New maps? New guns? But after those three months of you playing, you find out that those Assassin, Final Stand, Dead Man's Hand, Shit kill streaks, shit equipment, shit maps, horrible DLC plan. Then you go back to Black Ops, and MW3 goes down on the list of the most played Xbox Live games, and holds the reputation, holds the sales, and Black Ops stays number one. So you do know what that would do to. Treyarch, I mean Activision, if they were to put stress on the game developers to fix the game and to make it better. And that's why I'm not looking forward to the next game. Because there'll be bullshit, there's gonna be more bullshit. Like, that's just how it works. That's how Call of Duty works, and that's why people need to actually realize that buying, playing a game that is shit and you don't say anything about it, it's just bad. People are like, well, you're crying. Whenever you have something bad about a game, you're crying when you complain about it. <sighs> and the fact is, is that the game could be fixed easily, but the publishers aren't making the developers make more games better. And that's just real to call it to be sad. I don't see Battlefield Alright, the worst thing Battlefield's done was to push the release to right, uh, right before MW3. That's like the worst thing I've ever seen them done. I never see them not patch anything that's over. I never see them never patch anything that's overpowered. They always get the little patches out. They never make the community have to deal with shit. They may take long with the patches. They may not give us all the details. But they do deliver, and that's what can you complain about after that? After they deliver, that's good. But with Call of Duty, all I see is a new DLC update every year. That is seven gigs in size. That's all I see, and it comes on a disc. Only expansion pack, I should say. I have not seen a new game. Since World at War. No, since MW2. Well, yeah, since MW2. Well, yeah, yeah, so. It's just stupid. I mean, pick up Battlefield, guys. I know a lot of you guys do post on YouTube and Call of Duty's convenient to post and gets a lot of views. And that's why I kind of do it. No, actually, I just do it for the second part. It's convenient to put. Well, full spot, it's convenient to post because I record with the camera and it sets it saves my gameplay itself. It's really nice. But, if for you guys with HCP, play some Battlefield. Play some Mortal Kombat. Play some uh, Gotham City Impostles and just record that. Because, really, who knows what you're playing? You are supporting a game that is actually balanced. You know Gotham City Impostles is a freaking fifteen dollar DLC well, downloadable game, and it's better than MW3. So I will support that game than, you know, Modern Warfare 3. 
and I see, and you know what, yeah, and, well, actually, one thing that does piss me off about Battlefield is that they are making map, maps that are more like Call of Duty. That's cool and all. I don't, you know, want to kill them for that, but no game's supposed to be different. It's not supposed to be the same as Call of Duty. And I think they're kind of losing that in the, you know, Custful Tons of Marty. And they really gotta get that out of the head that the game's supposed to be different and not supposed to be the same. That's why Gotham City Impossible's did pretty well and it got picked up by YouTubers because it was different. It was goofy. It was funny. It had a lot of real things about it that made it stand out. It wasn't another Call of Duty game. It just wasn't. And that's what I liked about it. Now I never played it, but watching people play it, I think mean that they were enjoying themselves. Because there was no bullshit in the game. There was no bullshit. And that's what Call of Duty needs. But as I said, if they to make a perfect game, then what would be the point of buying a new one? So, don't even look forward to the next Call of Duty game. It's just going to be a little flop. And, uh, that's, that's the truth. <laughs> you know, like, the big YouTube commentators need to stand up and be like, next Call of Duty game is just going to suck. Peace out, guys.